everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going through an exciting new product. This is a mobile gimbal by Zion. This is the Smooth 5S AI, which is an enhancement on their existing edition, which brings a lot of new features to get your gimbal working for you a little smarter. Zion was kind enough to send us a copy of this product for review today. All the thoughts in this video are our own. This is the Pro Edition that was sent to us. There are two other editions. There's a combo and the standard kit. We're gonna dive into the box. I'm gonna show you what's provided and let you know which edition comes with which item. In the box, you'll get the gimbal, a USB-C cable, a mini tripod leg, and a subscription card. If you get the combo edition, you additionally get this camera. And then in the pro bundle, you'll also get a light, gels for the light, a wrist strap, and this handy case. The build quality of this gimbal is really well done. You can see it looks like professional gimbal. A lot of different buttons here that control various features. First up on the side, which I really love, is this wheel that it's it's nice and sturdy to the point that you know you're not gonna over focus and over zoom. You can quickly switch between the focus pull and zoom modes by just tapping in the button. On the back we have the menu button, which helps you pull up some of the menu options in the Cami app and also acts as a back button. We have the light button to turn on and off the light, as well as control its power. The click wheel also has the ability for you to press the different directions here for different quick settings. You'll have a mode to cycle between the different camera modes, a record button to start and stop, a little thumbstick for you to manually control the actual direction of the gimbal. The function key here for some added functionality and the on and off switch. There's also a one quarter screw thread on the side for you to have the ability to add an extra accessory. On the front of the gimbal, there's a little port for you to do USB-C charging. The front trigger also has a couple different presets built into it. You can do a one press, double press, which resets it triple press and quadruple press, and they all have different functionality. You have the ability to film in horizontal or vertical mode. Currently, it's set up on horizontal as we're filming for YouTube. The gimbal can handle a 300 gram payload, and I'm using an iPhone 14 on this currently, which can be really top heavy, and it's having zero issue in balancing and filming. So you can be rest assured that using a gimbal like this with your larger phones is gonna work. The movement on this gimbal is superb. I've used a couple, I've used the Osmo 6, and this one has a lot more range on its tilt, roll, and pan. I really love how this can do a 360 degree pan. You can see here, we can keep on spinning this thing to our heart's content, which allows us to film without needing to stop or reposition sometimes. As far as tilt, it has 349 degrees of tilt access. So you can see here, we're gonna film pretty much vertical, go slightly backwards. We can just keep going if we need to. The only thing that's really in the way of this tilt is the actual back of the gimbal. So you can pretty much film any, any vertical element without worrying about it getting in your way. We additionally can do a roll of 349 degrees. So that means that the gimbal can actually change its plane and keep on doing a spin. If you need a little lighting when you're doing your filming, it actually comes with a built-in fill light right on the frame. This can actually go up to 680 lux, and there's a dial on the back for you to ramp up the light. If you need a little extra power, you have the ability to attach the external lights that come with the Pro Kit, or you can buy individually, slap it on the top or the bottom mount. There's a built-in USB port right on the gimbal, so you can use the power from the gimbal to actually power your phone. This gimbal has a huge battery in it that runs for 26 hours. That is a two hour upgrade over the 24 hour battery that was on the previous 5S. This is a huge gain over something like an Osmo 6, which has about a six and a half hour battery life. 
And from using an Osmo 6, personally, I can tell you over a day's travel, it runs out when you need it most. It takes about three and a half hours to charge this fully, which at 26 hours of life, you're not gonna need to do that often. But if you're on the go and you're worried about keeping this topped up, you can use a 14 watt power delivery system to charge this on the fly. New to this addition is this AI module, which has a camera built into it, which allows you to get a little more advanced with your gesturing and filming. This attaches very easily to the top or bottom and then has a power switch for you to turn on. So we just attached the AI module to the top now. I'm gonna show you how the gestures work. So we have Dimmy behind us. Hey, Dimmy. So he's gonna do the okay motion, which is gonna enable face tracking. Give it a shot. So you can see he's moving around now and the gimbal is gonna track him fully. Now, say we want us to make that stop. He's gonna put his palm up. And now the face tracking is gonna stop, which is really cool. Uh, let's try taking a photo. He's gonna do the peace sign here, which is gonna trigger a photo. Bam. So now we've switched the AI module to facing me and I have it on selfie mode. This allows you to take this rig out anywhere and have the ability to film yourself on the go. So I have face tracking enabled by just doing the okay symbol. And you can see it is tracking my movement here and I can see it in the distance exactly where I need it. Let's test how good this thing tracks. So I'm gonna just walk back here. I'm gonna duck behind Isaac. And it picked me up pretty cleanly. What about behind a block? Pick me back up. There's a couple different ways for you to actually record using this gimbal. You can use the built-in app on your iPhone or Android device. And uh, the basic start-stop recording will work. If you want to get a little more advanced, there is a ZY or ZY, depending where you are, Kami app built by Zion. And that allows you to have a couple different presets and other functionality that are built for the gimbal. That includes different uh, abilities to use some of the preset buttons and the focus and zoom features. If you want to get a little more advanced, there's actually a Stacam app, which you can download, and that allows you to get into more professional settings, such as controlling ISO, shutter, frame rate, and a couple other different features. So if you're really looking for the super high-end features, you can use the Stockham app. But for those of you out there just looking to make basic fun videos, perhaps maybe even use some templates, you can use the ZY Cami app. And it even comes with an editing app in there so you can make the videos all in one app. I've been very impressed with the build quality of this product. Zion's been creating some really interesting lighting and gimbals, and I, I think this really adds a positive product to their suite. This is gonna be a great tool for me when I'm doing mobile photography, and this is great for the users out there who are looking to up their game and get a little more professional when doing either creative, professional, or other endeavors using a mobile phone for video. As far as how this gimbal compares to all the competitors out there, I think the build quality and the actual usability of this is right up there. The only downsides is it is a larger form factor, so if you are taking it on the go, it can take up quite a little bit of size in your bag. As a positive though, the motors on this are top notch and it has kept a very smooth motion when I've been filming. So you're trading off a little bit of portability for a higher end video experience. As far as the actual motion of the product, it is been fantastic at keeping flexibility and stability. So you can see here as I've been moving it, the horizontal video is top notch. For those of you out there with an iPhone or something that has stability built in, you're probably wondering, well, why don't I just use that action mode? 
Well, in iPhone's case, their stability mode uh, runs at 2.7K rather than 4K. So although it is pretty interesting, it doesn't have that 4K experience they might be looking for. Also, when you have something like a gimbal, you can have, it's a lot easier to actually keep it pointed to the subject that you're looking at. Well, if you're trying to freehand an iPhone, you're gonna need to manually point it at the subject. So that's where something like tracking on a gimbal is really gonna help you get a more professional look. If you have any other questions about this gimbal, don't be shy to leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you found this helpful, give a like below and subscribe so you can see more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.